Hello everybody. Hello iedereen. It is a great pleasure to speak to you today. I strongly support the actions you are undertaking for the Dutch Open Access Week. We indeed need to raise further awareness about this issue in the Netherlands and elsewhere. You all know that I am a big fan of open science and open education. So it is fantastic to see you focusing on those two topics. I'm personally very proud of the many things no now going on in the Netherlands to deliver open access. The Surf Share program and the Narcis portal providing central access to the content of Dutch repositories are more than just a proof of concept. They show a way towards the future of disseminating academic research. An important success and an example others can follow. My vision is clear and straightforward open access to scientific information. And this will allow us, all of us, to get the most benefit from science, for education, for innovation and for whatever creative reuse people can think of. Researchers, engineers and small businesses in particular need easy and quick access to the results of science. Without proper access to scientific information, it can take small businesses two years longer to get new products to market. Access to scientific information cannot be a luxury for Europe. It is a must if we want to compete globally. Open access also helps reach the wider public, who would otherwise find it hard, if not possible, to get access to scientific results. For example, over in the US, the nonprofit Genetic Alliance has used publicly available research at the US National Institute of Health to create Disease Info Search, a website helping people find information on genetic disorders. Disease Info Search serves a huge community, from patients to health professionals, from medical novices to scientific experts, but above all, Open access to scientific information is important because it gives citizens the ability to access the knowledge produced using taxpayers' money. And that is why, in particular, the results of publicly funded research should be spread as widely and quickly as possible. Already last year, the Commission decided to make open access to scientific publications a principle for all EU-funded research. There's already a pan-European system, open air, to support this. And I'm currently working to enlarge it to include scientific data too. We are also preparing a communication on scientific information and a recommendation to member states. This will spell out what is needed to improve terms of access, management and preservation of scientific publications and data. But however ambitious it will be, the recommendation alone will not be enough to bring out the full potential of scientific information. To re-up the benefits for the European economy and society, we must also deploy measures on the ground. And that is why your actions to raise stakeholder awareness are so important. To conclude, let me repeat a simple message. Scientific information is there to be used. And if we make it available in a better and quicker way, we will all benefit. So many thanks to all of you for the actions you are undertaking to deliver science for a better Europe and a better world.